As I proclaim this gospel on this morning, Lord, let me decrease, Lord, that you may increase, Lord. Father God, it's told about you, Lord, and it's not about me, Lord. Lord, we need you, Lord, like we never, ever needed you before. And we just want to tell you thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, bless the services right now. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. And Pastor, Elder Neil, y'all was all in my message this morning. Huh? Our Sunday school teacher. Then our pastor said his few words. I'm just going to lay it on down and we're going to get out of here. That's all I'm going to do. Do what the Lord tell me to do. And I'm going to go home. Job is real simple. Like Pat said all the time, you got to really hear from God. Really hear from God. Some may want to hear it and some may not want to hear it, but that's okay. The book of Matthew, the 11th chapter, verses 28 through 30, and it reads as thus Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heaven laid. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Read that, read that last verse one more time. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yes, if I had to use for a text on this morning, it would simply be stop worrying and give the problem to Jesus. Stop worrying and give the problem to Jesus. This is a personal message for myself. And like we always say sometimes that when we get an opportunity to bring God's word, it first hits the, the preacher first, then you guys get a glimpse of what the Lord has been dealing with us with. Stop worrying and give the problem to Jesus. Sister Ann, I can't help but to talk about what you said on last Wednesday or the Wednesday prior to that. And she said that she had a good doctor's report yeah. because of the cancer. Yeah. And everything was still looking good. Amen. amen. I, I said, amen. amen. And I had the same report some time ago. Everything's still looking good. Amen. 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 But I, I, I have to tell you, church, I, I have to tell you this. I had a friend of mine, and she's really not a friend of mine. Uh, if you follow social media, her name is Jessie Lee. You can look up, look up, look up later on. Jessie Lee Ward. She's a multi-billionaire, plenty money pastor. Died over the weekend. Cancer. Stage four. Went to three, then it went to four. So no amount of money can stop cancer. Counsel, don't care about nobody. Nobody. She said if she had all the money that could cure the counsel, she would. But that didn't help. So whatever tragedy you've been through, whether it be good or bad, I thank God anyhow. Amen. Because guess what? It could have been another way. Huh? It could have been another way for Sister Ann and so many other people. It could have been the other way. But God found faith to let us stay here just a little while longer. How long? I don't know. But my challenge today, every single day, is just to do this. Turn the other cheek. When somebody do something wrong to you, say something wrong to you out of the way, Turn out a cheek. Yeah. And guess what? We leave it here. Yeah. Right. It used to be one by one. 
Baby, we leave here by the, what they say, by the grove. And this is our challenge this morning to make sure that when it's your time to be ready when God calls you. Yes, In today's lesson, we see where we're doing this. The time the Jewish people rejected Jesus. They rejected Jesus because of his message. In this text, we see that the learned ones, the people that was right with Jesus, the people that prospered and got so much from Jesus, they rejected him. But the poor, the needy, the humble, the ones that uh, believed Jesus, those were the only ones that actually followed Jesus and interpreted what he was talking about at this time. So many times in life, we still are rejected by people who we think mean so much to them or to ourselves. Let me say that again. The people that you think they care so much about you, they really don't care nothing about you. Those who you gave your last to, only so they can make it to the next payday. Huh? Jesus makes it clear in this lesson that the very ones that you eat with, pray with, call your friends, will reject you. Amen? I'm reminded of the story in the Bible where Jesus was, you know, the people was saying, Hosanna! Hosanna, Hosanna, bless his name, huh? And then a few moments later they say, crucify him, crucify him. Church, be very careful of the people that we call our friends. Jesus in this text was rejected by the Jews. And, and I hate to say this, that your, your own people sometimes will reject you. Yes, Come on now. Yes, De Deacon Harvard, I, I, I got to uh, go to what you ask in Bible study. So I'm asking a lot of stuff and I'm bringing it out now. So maybe y'all say, I got to come to Bible study sometime. Huh? You come, it's 5 o'clock. One hour. De Deacon Harvard asked this powerful question. Powerful question. And this was the question that you may not even remember. You know, uh, for example, church, if you have someone in Edwards, Mississippi, mm -hmm. that can cook the best hamburgers in town, would you all support them? Yes or no? Don't ask. Don't ask. I don't want y'all to incriminate yourself. Best hamburgers in town. Or would you drive all the way to Flowood to get one of those same burgers that's double the price and gas? That's why you, you, you right and gas that you got to spend. Or would you get these juicy, delicious hamburgers? in Edwards, Mississippi. Yeah. Now, the, the, bur the burgers in Florida are juicy uh -huh. and, and, and delicious, too. Yes, but the drive that you got to take uh -huh. to get that juicy hamburger, you may forget about that you was hungry. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> but if you down here in Edwards, go down there to what they said, a little strip went down there. Y'all know what they call it. Yeah. And get you one of them hamburgers. Guess what? You'll get it, uh -huh. and you have patronized him. Mm -hmm. We'll say it may be 10 down in Ellis. You going down there, y'all you know the place in Florida where y'all be going to it. Jenny B and all these other places, uh -huh. Burgers and Blue, you know the name of it. Uh -huh. You gonna pay 10 here, you gonna drive there, you gonna pay $25. <laughs> For the same number. <laughs> huh? You know, Pastor, you know, don't think about the hamburger. They make you your pill. You know that, that sliced pickle on the side? Man, I'm just crazy about that pickle. It's 
the same pillar that Kroger's got. But you'll pay that extra $10 because you been in Flowood. Huh? All right, now y'all ready? You buckle your seatbelt. It's the same thing here tonight. Right at Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. This is your church. You call it home. <laughs> you love everybody here. Huh? And guess what? You would drive all the way to flow to them churches.
to get their Lord to Christ, give theirself to Christ. Uh -huh. They're they're where you at. The Bible talks about what we should do. Come to Sunday school. Come to Bible study. Tell you what we got to do. It's a it's a season for everything, yeah. It's a season for everything. Verse twenty eight says this. I'm not gonna be long. I'm almost done. It says this. Come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. In our lesson, rest is a peaceful place. If you go somewhere where there's mess and confusion, how will you get rest? If there's no rest in a home because of confusion, the children will not be performing, you will have the wrong attitude, and guess what? You cannot serve God in the midst of confusion. You need a clear mind, a clear heart to serve God. The reason why we out and the reason why some are so stressed out and worried about this and worried about that, because we're out of the will of God. If you got to make something happen, baby, then it don't supposed to happen. God don't work like that. You know, it don't work like that. They don't work like that. It don't work like that. If, 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 it's, if it's God, it don't have to be so hard, baby. If it's God, it don't have to be so hard. Verse 29 tells us, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Who are you going to learn of? Of God. Learn of God. You can't learn of God if you can't call your pastor and ask some simple, basic questions because you don't even know the pastor. No one knows his telephone number. Y'all, this is a personal, personal thing when we're talking about salvation and God. I truly believe that if wherever you at, you may have friends or family members that go in these other churches, you just ask them, can they call their pastor? Ask them. Ask them, can they call their pastor? They can't. It says, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your soul. You know, we looking for every single thing our body can't rest, our mind can't rest, because guess what? We out of the will of God. All right, all right. We, we going to this job. We going to that job. We in this relationship. We in that relationship. And we out of the will of God. What did God say about these things? You never know. Unless you learn to turn all your problems over to God. Yes, Amen? Sir. Yes, sir. Guess what the Bible tells us that we have to have rest in our soul. I see it all the time. And the older people probably know what I'm talking about. I'd rather be at home, eat a bowl of noodles, all bills paid. They have to worry with some knucklehead yeah. about what they want and don't want to do. Right. Amen? Amen? At some point in our life, we should want better yeah. Yeah. and more. And the only way we get better and more is what? Under the will of God. Y'all see my umbrella? Uh -huh. Huh? Y'all yes, been looking at it? Yeah. Huh? I had to ask Pastor to put this umbrella up here. Look, that's our pastor, right? Who am I to just get up and just say, I'm going to put my umbrella up there? Huh? If my parents ain't taught me nothing else, they taught me respect for one another. This umbrella is under the will of God. Huh? And on this umbrella, you got peace. Under the will of God. The will of God. How we got rest, salvation, under the will of God. How huh? rest, under the will of God. And your children need to see their parents under the will of God. They need to see their mom and daddy paying tithes and offering and being prosperous. Guess what? They under the will of God. But if you ain't under the will of God, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. But how do I do that? Come to church. Come to your church.
church. Patronize your church. Patronize your pastor. Give to your church. Huh? We want everybody to be under the will of God. This under the will of God thing is so powerful and so important that if we do it right, guess what? Our children will be protected. Huh? I started to get my baby some umbrella, but you guess what? I ain't, I ain't let get now. But y'all get my message right. Huh? Because if I'm under the will of God, and I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do as a parent, guess what? My children are gonna be blessed. Huh? They're gonna be blessed. Huh? This message is not for everybody. So I'm not gonna receive it. I'm talking to the people that's under the will of God. Amen. 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 And if you want to get under the will of God, yes, sir. ask yourself, Lord, yes. how do I get in your will? Mm -hmm. Lord, how do I treat people better? Yes. How do I love my neighbor like I love myself? Yes. How do I do it? Because Pastor, you said some real powerful. That you know, some children have been mistreated at home by parents that have been mistreated at home. Huh? Say it again. Some children have been misre misrepeated at, mistreated at home, thank you, Dick, by parents who have been mistreated at home. And the cycle continues. Who's going to break the cycle? Who's going to break it? Huh? The only way you can break this cycle, baby, under the will of God. Because the Lord will show you, huh? He'll show you how to talk to your children, how to approach your children in such a way that they'll understand what mom and dad say. Sometimes I want to say stuff that ain't God. Huh? Me, you know what I'm talking about? Huh? We men at the end of the day. Huh? I can say some words, baby. Huh? Show okay, don't get the L confused. Huh? Look, you hear what I say? Oh, okay, now. At the end of the day, baby, we're gonna do what we gotta do. Huh? Huh? But guess what? Because I'm under the will of God. God said you can't you can't do that. Because if you do that, they're gonna mess them up. They're gonna get so mad at you. She gonna get so mad at you. Sometimes you ain't gotta answer every call, every text. Everybody that responded to you, you ain't gotta respond either. I'm gonna let that soak a minute. People are trying to mess with you all. But do me a favor. Get up in the will of God. Verse 30, my last verse says this. For my yoke is easy and my bird is light. Yes, Everything that you worried about, turn it over to Jesus. Yes, and stop playing with the Lord. Yes, stop playing with the Lord. Yes, when you out of the will of the Lord, you out of his covering and his protection. Yes, sir. Every problem that you have, every burden that you have, everything that you're going through now is only to make you stronger in the Lord. That's right. But how do I know? How do I address the cares of life? By getting in God's word. Every answer in life is in God's word. Every answer in God, it, every answer is in God's word. And if you get in God's word, he'll get an answer. I'm going back to our pastor. We have a real pastor. Now that we got a good first lady too. Give first lady a clap. Amen. First lady, I thank you in advance for allowing the atmosphere for our pastor to preach so freely on Sunday morning. Yeah. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, 
you'll learn it by and by. Thank you for the opportunity to allow our pastor to preach and exercise his gift daily without any hindrance or complaining, any worrisome, any of those things that you could do. Thank you for just allowing us to have him. And you too. We don't take you all for granted. Because she could be the other way. Yeah, I don't know the other way. Do you know the other way? Do you know the other way? They quite, do you know the other way? Oh, okay. All right. Try to make sure we know the other way. Well, this is another way now. <laughs> you better. I've seen, I've seen this thing a bunch of times. God is so good. Stop worrying and give your problems to Jesus. One last point. And I went everywhere but what I wanted to go in this one. But I'm going to go right here. I'm at home. I can do like I need to do at home. Because when I go out, I, I, I make sure I represent Rally Chapel, right? Amen. Because guess what? I've been taught at home, right? Huh? This white does see me somewhere else. The pastor will see me somewhere else. Yeah, I don't see me. Look, I don't go nowhere trying to represent home all raggedy. Huh? I want to represent home right. I let them know I'm a proud member of Rally Chapel, Mr. Baptist Church, located in Edwards, Mississippi, where I serve under the proud pastor of Douglas E. Lacey of the Rally Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. Huh? Two and a half miles of exit 19. Now let me say this. Y'all acting up, Pastor. <laughs> let me say, it says this. Let's start prioritizing people who prioritize us. Let's say it again. Let's start prioritizing people who prioritize us. Simply mean people do all they can for you. Why don't you turn the other cheek sometime and do the same thing for them? Huh? Same thing, man. Same thing. Uh -huh. Pastor, I'm harping on mamas and daddies. Young people, you got older people too. You got parents still living. Take care of them too sometime. Whatever they can do. My mama different. You know, she different. She, she just different. Everybody know their parents. But guess what? If she need me, she gonna call me. And I better come. She don't keep calling me. She ain't knowing all that. She'll call me one time, she'll text me. She don't call me no more. Huh? 46 years old. Think I said something to my mama one time, out the way. I don't get it how people disrespect their parents. I, I, I don't get it. I, I just, that's a whole other subject. A whole other subject. But stop worrying and give the problem to Jesus. Amen? Amen. Stop worrying and give the problem to Jesus. I'm going to say this as I go to my seat. Mr. and Mrs. Brown, thank you all for allowing us to have Sister Mayor Brown to be with us today. Amen. We do not take it lightly here at Rally Chapel Church. And if we had a child that was going somewhere doing the same exact thing, I already know that most of us will do the same exact thing you guys do. Amen? Making sure that our babies were protected. Amen? Amen? Make sure our baby is protected. Amen? When I go somewhere and preach, nobody else is going to pass to be there. He's going to not allow another minister or another church to do something to his son of the house. Amen? Amen? So wherever your children, wherever your children are, Whatever they're doing as a parent, be there. Amen? Be there. Children remember stuff when they were six and seven years old. Mama, you ain't come to my dance rehearsal. You ain't come to my game. 
That was 20 years ago. They remember. Keep on being so busy that you don't make time for the important things. Keep on being so busy that you don't make time for the important things. Because guess what? When you need them, they may be too busy too. Woo! They may be too busy too. Whatever you want to fill the blank in with, you just do it. I've seen it so many different ways. Love you guys. Stop worrying and give the problem to Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. The doors of the church are open. Christina Williams. 